Hi everyone. Today, well, this is Miss Michelle Fix It, otherwise known as Michelle Fix It. Today is June 12th, 2023. Uh, I am assisting with a legal situation for someone. Uh, so we're, we're dealing with that. And uh, my action-packed fun day is my kittens are, um, my kittens are at Patterson. Crazy Cat Lady is uh, watching them while they are asleep. Um, because they are not early starters of their days. Um, and Baby Hulk was just like, he had about 45 minutes of sleep yesterday. Um, he was pretty much just going, going, going. There were too many people. There were too many things. He, he refused to take a nap. So he over exhausted himself and stayed up way too late. And then whenever I was getting ready this morning, he was like, mom, what are you doing? Like looking up and I'm like, go back to sleep. And he's like, um, so they are completely asleep right now and I am patiently waiting for everything to get finished up so that hopefully, um, can get a water heater today. Um, I was able to get one from someone and I'm super excited. Um, so it was a good deal. And then, uh, we may do some work or have someone else do some work if it's like the time ratio, uh, the time money ratio works out. Um, I have to go to Georgetown, continue to work on laundry. I have a whole fun-filled, crazy, packed-up day to do. Lots of stuff. Um, had lots of fun with our Crazy Cat Adventures going to the Dollar Tree, even though Izzy was just, like, running on fumes by the end of it because she was so tired. So we do have um, two packaged up presents that we have to give to um, a sort of neighbor cat and then also um, to a Mion. For his birthday and uh, so I'm just trying to give you guys an update because I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm bored and I'm reading up on like Asperger's syndrome and computers and stuff because like my brain has compartmentalized to like stay away from certain things because I know that I can get consumed by certain things and then it turns out that like other people are like nope this is going to be my special interest so I'm like reading all this stuff that I had no idea about and I'm hoping that like I don't keep going down the Aspie hole on it because, um, I don't know. I kind of stay away from certain things. Like, I really like houses and vehicles and mechanical things. It's like my stuff. But if someone explains to me the basics of something that's a broad concept that I just had have no interest in, like, I can kind of channel myself into whatever thing I need to um, based off of necessity. Like, I had no want learn anything about outside of like to save money and to know the mechanical stuff for um, HVACs but just like gas forced uh, forced air heaters so I understand like the dynamics of how it all works and it's just basically like working on a car for me um, because it's they're all expected things like if this happens and this will happen and like especially whenever it comes to something that's you know fuel um, fuel oxygen spark I mean that's the, the core concept of vehicular stuff and like <clears throat> lawnmowers and everything and so like gas furnaces weren't really that big of a thing for me um and so I've I know how to troubleshoot them I know how to work on them I know how to do all the stuff with them um but then because our air conditioner went out and well husband cat's air conditioner because you know there's a big separation of boxes there um for the box is <laughs> And, um, and so like when his HVAC with a cooling component, because it's air conditioning and I know heating, air conditioning, uh, ventilation, but it's the same categorization. Um, I know they're like techies out there like, no, it's not the same. It is. I mean, so the Baltimore houses, they don't, they have forced gas, they have gas forced heat. Um, but, or I see my brain just like, I don't know, I'm lower on caffeine or something. So they have forced air ventilation that is gas, um, as the heat source. And so husband cat at his house has forced air based off of an oil, um, system. And then there's like a, uh, there's the emergency heat and everything. You can tell that like I'm just not caffeinated. Um, 
but basically like when the cooling component went out I really didn't want to know about it but because it would save us like ten to fifteen thousand dollars um I bought the stuff I learned all the stuff I went through the modules I asked me down on it and I became exceptionally proficient in it in a very small amount of time and then we did what needed to get done to make sure that it was corrected um silver soldering um evacuation of you know refrigerants and all that stuff and then um down to clearing out with the the acid and all the other stuff um and I can give you a better breakdown but like that's just my little in a nutshell thing um and then I had somebody come out that actually instructs and teaches HVAC techs uh, at the community college. And he was like, you really need to be in my class. Like you already know the stuff, but like you need to be in my class because like you should be doing this as a job. I'm like, no, 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 I have enough jobs. Like I literally did this as like a one-off special interest project because of necessity and because of cheapness. Um, and I even, oh my goodness, I put my necklaces on backwards today. Like that's how off schedule I am. These are backwards. I, ugh. anyways, um, so I didn't know because I just have like, I'm either on or off with topics out because I'm very restrictive with how my brain works because it does get really excited about things and puzzles and all that stuff. But I mean, it's a no brainer, but it's also like, I, I cognitively understood that, um, my fellow Aspergians for like doctors and lawyers and computer techies and like all that stuff. But I didn't, I didn't know. Um, but it makes sense that there are a lot of things going on with, um, training computers to be like us. Oh, so I gotta go. People are coming up.